Hello everyone, this is Nightwave37 here. Today I'm doing a review on some Moreno wool socks I've recently bought. As I said, I forgot to tell everyone, I'm, this is the first video I've done since I've moved into my new place. Moved a few months back. Been kind of busy with some other things, but now I'm getting back to making outdoor gear videos. So tonight I'm going to do a review on a very important piece of gear which is our socks most people wouldn't think so but they actually are because they manage our temperature of our feet because our feet have more have quite a few pores sweat glands so yeah it's very important to manage that so it could really make a difference between cold feet and comfortable feet especially out in the field so i'm gonna get into it on some of the socks I've recently bought. Okay, the first one here is this is the one I most recent addition I've got to my collection. This is my Farm to Feet uh, Cascade Locks. This is a three quarter crew. This is a very soft sock. It's got targeted cushioning right in here, mainly at the like the heel and at the front of the foot. Uh, this is 100% American, 100% American sourced materials. In case anyone's wondering, this is supposed to be a scene from, I think from somewhere in the Cascades, I believe. But yeah, these socks, they are made with 100% U.S. materials. Uh, here's the package to, in case anyone's wondering. They're ready for the trail. I'll give you the specs on these here. These have 54% U.S. nylon, 42% U.S. merino wool, and 4% U.S. Lycra spandex. They're made with ultra-fine 19.5 micron yarn. And, of course, they utilize their 200 needle technology, which allows for complex, unique designs patterns stuff like that but yeah if you want to made in u.s all made with u.s components u.s manufacturing which involves you know u.s grown moreno wool stuff like it u.s made supplies american workers this is definitely a sock you'll definitely want to check out i bought this one i think it's from sportsman's warehouse for like 23 bucks i believe but you can get them online too. Oh, and I forgot to mention on these, this has got that top cushioning too for those that are interested. For the most part, these socks do fairly well, except on extremely cold days. Like the last day I wore these, my feet got extremely sweaty, plus I had some snow on my keens and toes got a little cold, but I think that might be due to a little bit lower uh, merino wool content compared to some other socks out there. Okay, I'll move along now. That's the Farm Defeat Cascade Locks, in case anyone's in wondering. Next one here. I got two varieties from this company. These are the best ones for. For cold weather, these are going to be kind of hard to see. These are my Duckworth Mid Crews. Yeah, I'm not going to show these too much on there because... They're just very hard to see because of the color. But yeah, I'll show you the key components on them. There's cushioning at the front of the foot, the toe area, a little bit behind it. And of course, cushioning at the heel area of your foot. And these do have something very interesting on these.
going to be kind of hard to see on this sock. I'll show you on the uh, midnight colored uh, crew sock. Cushioning is the same on these. These are the Midnight Blue uh, Crew. I bought these a while back. So right up in here. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. Hopefully I got this. Right about somewhere in there, there's venting on the top of this, top of the sock here, and then they got some right about in here. Right in towards like the toe area, there's venting there too, so. But yeah, these socks are probably like one of my favorite go-tos for cold weather days. Especially when the temperature in that mercury really plunges. And now I'll show you the packaging on these. In case anyone wonders what the packaging to Duckworth socks looks like. this It'll look about like this. It'll say 100% Montana Merino wool. 100% made in the USA. It'll tell you your loft, which these are made from softest 20 micron merino wool, thermal and odor regulating naturally. This is from that Montana Heli wool. I'll tell you the specs on the Midway crew. They have 58% U.S., 58% Montana Merino wool, 40% nylon, 2% Lycra spandex in them. But yeah, this is another one where everything's done. It's, they developed the concept of from sheep to shelf, as, as they call it. But yeah, these guys also make Merino wool underwear. Moreno wool toboggans, t-shirts, hoodies. So definitely check these guys out. They got a lot of good stuff to offer. Okay, next. This is a good sock for, well, I think for less than 18 bucks, actually, for a pair of these. This is the Yellow Bean Cresta Lightweight Crew. This color is in platinum. I also own one in the Everglades color. There's cushioning on the bottom like with the previous two. And the venting on these socks is mainly right in here is where these have venting at, at the bottom, near the bottom of the foot. And I'll read the specs off on them. Here's the packaging from L.L. Bean on those in case you're wondering what those look like. The packaging that these look like. The specs on these is 72% Merino wool, 26 nylon, and 2% Lycra spandex. But yeah, these are manufactured in the U.S. made with... Uh, responsibly sourced imported materials but yeah this is definitely a step up from cotton socks for sure these ain't too bad for you know less than 18 bucks all right on to the, the final one and my favorite for the field these are the schnee's trail tech moreno wool crew height socks Oh, and I forgot to mention the last previous socks was uh, crew height on the LL Beans. And the Duckworth was, uh, I showed a mid crew and then I showed a standard crew on them. But yes, anyway, back to the Schnees. These are the, 
uh, trail tech. These socks work excellent out in the field. I used them this past hunting season. They regulated my foot temperature very well. I didn't, I didn't get super sweaty like I had in previous seasons. My feet didn't get cold for the most part. I wore these in my hunter pack, hunter two pack boots and my newly acquired bear two, two 200 gram insulated boots. I'm going to do a review on them later. But yeah, I'll get into the specs on this. This is actually, I'll sh show you the package here in case anyone wondering what the Schnee's Trail Tech packaging looks like. So I know some people like to see that. And I'll get into the specs here. These have 74% Merino wool, 25% nylon, and 1% Lycra spandex in these. But yes, these are made in the USA. It's this, these are a blend of imported and domestic materials. So yeah, that's what I've been up to lately. Is mostly buying, and buy, buying, bought a couple boots this past month. And I've completely switched from, I don't use no cotton socks anymore. I use all merino wool. I found, I found them to be better for my feet. My feet don't stink anymore like they used to. Anyway, I thank everyone for the support. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. I'm always open to suggestions on how to make this better. And I wish everyone a pleasant evening. Nightwave 37 here, signing off. See you all later.